Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So this video is going to be on this baby right here. Just like it says on the box. This is the Black Boar ATV UTV implement. This is the Colta Packer. So what in the world is a Colta Packer? Well, you can see my equipment here is a little dusty, a little dirty. That's because yesterday we were turning up a bunch of dirt. I had a chisel plow attached, had the uh, disc harrow attached. We turned up a bunch of dirt. I'm fixing to run out, put a bunch of seed out, and then we're gonna go over it with this Colta Packer. It's gonna push the seeds down into the dirt. The more seed to dirt contact that you have, the better. This is gonna put it down in the dirt. We've got some rain coming this afternoon, so I'm actually hurrying. This is the last piece of the puzzle for the food plot. So, but for this video, I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I'm gonna show you how to install it. Then we're gonna take it out to the food plots, throw some seed out, and then use this Colta Packer uh, on my side by side here. Check it out, it should be pretty cool. Let's open the box. So everything that I've gotten from Black Boar, I've been impressed with the packaging. They definitely do a good job packaging their stuff where it doesn't get scratched or lost in the shipping process. So that's a plus. But let me get this box open here. We're gonna, you're gonna see it first, just like I see it. So, uh, before I go any further, in order to use this Colta Packer, you got to have one of the Black Boar implement lifts. This is the motorized one. We've got a switch up front that raises and lowers it. There's also a manual one that you can crank. But we're going to mount this Colta Packer. Ooh, I love the looks of this already. We're going to mount this Colta Packer onto this implement lift. So, we got some stickers in there. We got a user manual. Looks like, uh, I wasn't sure how much of this we're gonna have to put together, but this looks like it's gonna be really simple and I like simple. So, uh, we've got the U-bolts, which that's gonna be how we're gonna attach this thing. And it looks to me like everything else is already put together. I like that. Uh, super, super easy install. Let's uh, get to mounting this thing up. Literally looks like the brackets are already installed here. And we're just going to have to take the U-bolts, put them through here, and slap that baby on there. This should be pretty easy. So just a real quick inventory check. Like I said, the brackets for this mounting already came installed with the bearings on the end of the axle here, axle through there. But we've got four U-bolts, two lock nuts, and two washers each. Now what I'm gonna do here is just go through one at a time, put the U-bolt through there, a washer underneath, and then a lock nut. And I'm gonna do this and just get it kind of hand tight across the board on one side. And then I'll show you slipping it over and then we'll do the other side here. All right, so now you can see I've got these two U-bolts started on this side. So what I'm gonna do, and now this is not heavy. Since we're using the weight of the machine and the way that this lift is designed, we're gonna use the weight and the force of this machine as the uh, method of pushing this thing down in the dirt. If there are some types of Colta packers that weigh a bazillion pounds or you might have to fill them up with water. I've used those before. Very hard to work with out in the field, super heavy. Hard on your equipment, those styles. Uh, but since this is light and we're using the weight of the machine, pretty easy to work with. So I've got these U-bolts here. And what I'm gonna do is just lift it onto this side Super light. My wife could even do this right here. So, see how that is now on this side. Now what I'm gonna do is go over to this other side and 
I'm gonna put this U-bolt here like, like so, and this one like so, and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did on this other side and just put those washers up on each one, a lock nut on each one, and then we're about to be cooking with gas and put some seeds down in the dirt. I'm gonna get all this cinched up, get it centered up, and then we're gonna trailer this baby up and head back out to where we did all of our plowing and disking yesterday, get some seeds out. I'm gonna tighten all this up, I'll be right back. All right, so now I've got it completely installed here to where I have these U-bolts on there real tight. All I used was a deep socket, three quarter inch socket wrench. Tighten all those lock nuts up. And now we are ready to go. Got it evenly spaced. Let me show you out here real quick how this is gonna work. So since this is the motorized lift, when we get out there and we get to using this baby, I'm just gonna hit this switch that I've got wired up to the front. And you can see that lift is gonna put that in contact with the ground. And then we're just gonna go to pushing all those seeds in, but I'm gonna raise it back up and we're gonna load up the side by side and get ready to throw some seeds out and push them down in the dirt with this Colta packer. Pretty sweet. All right, so now I'm out here where I plowed and dissed yesterday. You can see the dirt's all broken up. Next step, I'm gonna put some seeds out. This is a top secret blend I can't tell you about, but then I'm gonna lower the Colta packer and we're just gonna get to driving, but first let me get all this seed out. All right, so I've actually spent about the last two or three hours strategically placing all of those food plot seeds. I actually did a couple different blends across a couple different spots over the course of about two acres. But for the sake of this video and showing you this Colta Packer, I'm gonna show you right here, I'm gonna lower it, and then I'm just gonna get to driving, show you guys a little bit of the clips. Now since this one's got the motorized implement lift, I'm just gonna press the button right here and you can see it's gonna lower. I'm not gonna put too much pressure after it touches the dirt, at least for the initial pass. I'm just gonna have it gliding right over the top. And if I need some more pressure as we go, then I'll put some more pressure on it. But let's take this Colta Packer for a spin, get all those seeds pressed into the dirt, give us a better germination rate also keep it away from some of the birds that have come through these fields and try to eat up all the seeds we want to grow and not go in the bird belly so let's take it for a spin all right y'all tell me if that uh camera falls off the back <laughs> hopefully it doesn't we're just gonna cruise real easy like i said i did not put much pressure on it for this first pass well, let's drive around and see how she does here for this first pass nice and slow obviously you can go fast but i tend to drive like an old man my wife would tell you i'd rather be easy on things than try to go 100 mile an hour and be breaking things ain't no reason to be in a hurry we just pushing around some dirt pushing some seeds down into the dirt. And I'm gonna make one loop across this stretch of dirt, and then I'll re-evaluate the height of that Colta Packer. And I'm just gonna drive and drive and drive until I like how everything looks. So, I'm just gonna keep on cruising, and I'll check in back with you folks here in a little bit. All right, so we definitely got her dirty, but you can see where the dirt was more fine and I could just pick up handfuls of it after we dissed it. It's now a little bit more compacted. I can see a little bit of the seeds if I look real close. Look right there. 
but for the most part we've got those seeds pushed in now if you're using this colta packer to push in seeds for a food plot like i'm doing here today depending on what you're planting you might want to uh, choose how many times you go around it little bitty seeds like that that don't hardly have to be pressed in you might not have to go over but once or twice bigger seeds like peas or corn you might have to pay a little bit more attention and go over a little bit more but all in all the goal is here today to push those seeds and get that better seed to dirt contact and to hide them from the birds and all the other critters that had come through here and eat it. I don't think I even showed you what I got this thing hooked up to. Just to show you, the, uh, the hookup point, remember, is a two inch receiver. So anything with a two inch hitch. Most ATVs, UTVs, if they don't have that factory, you can get an adapter. But I've got this today on a Kawasaki Mule. And this is actually the Mule pro fxt 1000 so needless to say with the 1000 cc's that baby has had no problems pulling any of these implements this is the le camo true timber camo strata pattern but i'm gonna make one more pass here on this spot and then we're gonna call it a day and wait for the rain to come this afternoon I'll give you a little bit one more quick look here at this Colta Packer in action. I've got it a little bit deeper now. It's not fully extended, but it's de definitely putting a good little decent amount of pressure on that dirt back there. The first pass like I said, I just really lightly skimmed it. And then as the passes went on, I added a little bit more pressure. But depending on your terrain and what you're trying to do, just pay attention to the height of that cultipacker. But I think this thing's doing a pretty sweet job. We're coming through a section right here that the disc really did a fine job on. You see all that nice dark dirt. And we're pressing those seeds down. Deer's gonna have a smorgasbord. I planted a bunch of different seed blends today actually all over this area. So I'm actually pretty excited to see what the deer's like and what they don't. But this uh, Colts of Packer definitely one of the tools in our toolbox when it comes to making these food plots and improving our chances of germination and improving our chances of catching more deers. And that's what I'm all about. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this quick video on the unbox and install and use of this Black Boar Colta Packer implement. Pretty sweet, didn't have any problems, easy to put it on. Easy to use, especially with that motorized lift that really lets you on the fly uh, adjust the pressure here on this piece. I did quite a bit of adjusting using the plow and the disc and this because some of it's got dips, some of it's uphill, some of it's downhill. Uh, but uh, all in all, things easy to use and it did exactly what I needed to do out here today. Hey, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-hoo.